Hey everybody, this is Savage Sage and welcome to my Let's Play of Breath of Fire 3, my brand new Let's Play. I'm super excited about it. Get pumped. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this coming um, right after I finished Lunar because obviously the first Let's Play that I ever did on this channel was Breath of Fire 2, which obviously the entire Breath of Fire franchise has a very special place in my heart. Um, I played them a lot as a child, so obviously I'm going to know a lot about this game. This is going to be a very thorough walkthrough for those of you that are kind of maybe touching this game for the first time now obviously this is a little bit of an older game so if you've never played this classic if you've never played this gem i implore you pick this game up right now whether you emulate it whether you get it on the playstation 2 or the psp i'm actually playing the psp version for this new let's play i've never um played the psp version but i've read that the changes are actually very minimal um mainly all the changes of this game that i've seen are more just quality of life things as opposed to big story changes there's no extra dungeon nothing crazy like that um but we're just gonna check that stuff out moving forward but please 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 if you've never played this game get this game however you got to do it. whatever you need to do to get this game get this game and play with me because this is such a classic this game is so close to my heart i think that you guys will see that as i'm playing through there'll be plenty of stories there'll be plenty of connections there'll be plenty of everything that just makes this game amazing so i just want to jump right into it now, for those of you that did watch my Breath of Fire 2 Let's Play, with the first one that I did on this channel, um, just know to expect of this game, all the great things of that game and more. Actually, I think Breath of Fire 3 really kind of tipped us off the scale here. Great over-the-top gameplay. Um, we have to change our background to what I like, which is the leafy bushes here and the green text. I've always done that even as a kid, so I don't know why. We're going to make our message speed fast, auto run on... I'm sure I'm okay with that. Um, and let's quit. Let's get right on with the story. But I'm so excited to play this, guys, with you and for you. And together, it'll be amazing. I think this is going to be a great, great series moving forward. So let's jump right into it. Oh, I'm excited. And if you've ever played uh, Breath of Fire 1, these two should look pretty familiar. What is this? An egg or something? <laughs> yeah, you see the ones like every so often. Well, I'll be. Come on, let's get to work already. Mogu is not having any of this guy's crap. Come on, Gary, get it together. Oh, they're going to blow it up. You going to blow this egg right up? I mean, I guess it's a crystal, but there's there's kind of a dragon in there if you guys don't see it. So I guess that would make it more of an egg, right? Oh, I was so excited to play this game. I honestly, this is one of those games that's such a classic and so close to my heart. I play this game probably at least every year, once a year, or at least every other year. That's how much I love this game. I mean, how can you not love this game? Look at that cute little dragon. Oh, what the? It, it's still alive. Oh, what? Whoa. <gasps> they just hit that dragon? Oh my gosh. Well, surprise, friends, because the dragon is actually us, the whelp. And so here is the battle menu. I think that uh, this is one of the first things that kind of catches everybody's eyes when they're playing Get Breath of Fire 3, is the battle menu. At first, it seems so simple, and you're like, what the hell is this? But it follows the directional pad, and it's just super simple. We have attack. If you hit up is our abilities. If you hit right, you would defend. So let's check out our abilities. We have whelp breath. Um, and guess what? We're going to want to actually open straight up with whelp breath, because that will just take these two clowns out right out of there. Bye! <laughs> See you later, Mogu and Gary. Well, um... So yeah, this is how our story starts. We're this cute little dragon, and, uh... We were inside of this crystal. Those two came, blew us up, hit us in the face, and we burned them to death. Surprise! Welcome to the adventure! Now let's get straight into it. Now how the hell are we gonna get out of here, and where are we even? Oh! Uh, 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 a dragon? Uh, 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 alive? Uh, are you really a dragon? Uh huh. Yeah, I am. Look at me. Look how cute I am. Oh, d d d d d d dragon! All right. Goodbye, sir. Let's check over here. Hello. Sure is noisy out there. Wonder what's going on. Oh, don't worry about it, guy. We'll leave you here. Don't even worry about all the dragon noises. It's fine. Hello. Ha! I'm not afraid. Let's get it. Are they, are they coming after us? 
But look at how cute we are. How dare you? Burn them. Burn them all. Burn them. <laughs> they deserve it. They need to be burnt. Well, breath. Look at the animation for this, though. This was originally released on the PlayStation 1. So when I saw this, when you see this on the PlayStation 1 back in the day, you're like, oh my god. Like, this game is just absolutely gorgeous. Hello. Oh, sir, are you scared? <laughs> Don't hurt me. Okay, I mean, you didn't hit us. Why would we hurt you? Hello? You don't want to eat me. I don't taste good. Okay. I, 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 I think I wear my pants. All right, these people are not having a good time. I mean, I guess this would be pretty shocking if a dragon just came out of the stone. We're cursed. We're doomed. I knew we shouldn't be digging up dead bodies. We're cursed. We're doomed. Ew, you've been digging up dead bodies? That's... Now that's gross. That's grave robbing. That has nothing to do with me. I was just sitting in my crystal... What, what's that? I'm a cute little dragon. Hello? S somebody help! Alright, well... I don't know why nobody is not giving us any pets. We would love to be pet, actually. Um, look at how cute we are. We deserve to be pet. We've got our cute little green skin and our purple little horns. I love this color palette of this baby little dragon whelp. He's the cutest ever. What's this about a dragon, hmm? Well, well, well. Let's take it alive. Sir, you will not be taking me. As you can hear, we've got some serious music on now. So let's just go with the usual thing and whelp breath these boys to death. Let's burn them. No, don't. Huh? Who the hell said that? Hello? Take that! Huh? Oh, shoot. They got me when I wasn't looking. They hit me straight in the face with the crane. And that is the rise and fall of Baby Dragon. The birth and death. And I guess these guys are going to take our corpse out of here. What the? What a strange beginning this is. It's really all over the place. This is the first opportunity of many to hear this song throughout the game, and it's honestly so gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Most of the music in this game, straight on point and absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to be playing this game again. I love it. <laughs> it feels so good. Well, we're not dead. They just knocked us unconscious, but now they're shipping us off somewhere in this cart, in this little choo-choo train. But you know what? I think that's bullshit. And we need to get the hell out of here. So let us out. Get me out of here. I refuse to stay here, sir. Get me the f out of here. Oh, there we go. We just yeeted ourselves right off that train. We don't care. You think this baby dragon gives two craps what you think, sir? Absolutely not. Cedar Woods. Now, who is this? Looks like he's about to get that little piggy boy. That little oinkerson. Huh? Well, he straight saw you, sir. I don't know what you were expecting there. You did not hide very well. Darn it. I don't get many chances like that anymore. No. Almost had it. Oh, come on. What's making that racket? Hmm. Well, it looks like it's the same cage that that dragon was in, but that is a bare naked booty boy. Not a dragon. Hmm, maybe they're connected somehow. Oh, brother, this is just what I needed. Oh, he'll just take out these wild dogs. That'll teach you to scare off my dinner. Well, this guy seems like a badass. You too! And he's got a tail? Well, that's actually pretty staple for Breath of Fire series, as Cat had one. Who might you be? An orphan? You're lucky those curds didn't chew you to pieces. Yeah, I guess we are, huh? You're just gonna leave us here? I don't have enough food to feed you anyway. Oh no, you're gonna just leave this naked bear butt boy? Even if I did take you home. Just gonna leave me on the ground? M mommy 
Oh no, alright, alright already. We're clearly defenseless. We're definitely not secretly a dragon. Uncle Ray will take you home. You better appreciate this. Little shit. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he would say. Mmm, this music is lit too. I wonder. What were you doing out there by yourself, hmm? And without a strip of clothing? Being a naked butt booty boy, I mean, that's not not the best for the jungle. Those wolves would have ate you right up. What the hell were you doing? And, as you can see, it is the coolest treehouse that's ever been invented. Hell yes. Guess that's where we're going. Where's Ray? I guess I should give him a slightly different one. I'm hungry. He's home! Hey, Ray! Welcome home! Is that dinner? Boy, he'll eat anything. Won't you, Tipo? Who is that, anyway? Don't ask me. Let's get him into your bed, okay? <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty forward. Excuse me, sir. So, uh, who is he? I told you. I don't know. I found him in the woods. Really? Sounds like what happened with me. Interesting. So this isn't the first time it's happened. An orphan. Not surprising. It's been a lean year. Hmm. Well, why don't we let him sleep? While we go to the village. If we don't get some food soon, we're gonna be in a hot doo-doo. Somebody abandoned him. Just like me. That's very interesting. So we're a house full of orphans, apparently. Well, I'm glad that they took us in instead of killing us. Who the hell is that? Don't you see, Ryu? You are the same as me. You must understand. They're weak, pitiful, and pathetic. Hmm? Ryu. My Ryu. Ryu. Well, if you've played the game before, that will make a lot of sense. If you've never played the game before, that will make zero sense. So surprise, welcome to Breath of Fire 3. <laughs> Yay! Well, now we're out, and we're not a naked butt boy anymore. We've got a sheet on us. We're ghosts. Blah! Say blah! You see a diary. Do you want to make a record of your journey so far? Sure! Why not? It can't hurt us to save. Is it okay to save? Heck yeah. And you'll see the famous Ryu portrait. We love it. All right, well, let's go. Hello? Where did those two go, anyway? I guess they said they were going to the village. We should maybe figure out how to get there ourselves hello and of course in this game you can interact with these kind of things so we found a vitamin there wonderful anything in here yes we found a worm perfect and let's explore over here real quick Ooh, there's a little downstairs there. this looks like a storage room can't go in there yet and you can tilt the camera like this by holding r1 um, we're gonna have to remember that throughout the entire game because there's so many different little snickets of things to find and different little Easter eggs and just great things, so we're gonna want to keep our eye out for that, but let's depart the greatest tree house that has ever lived Hello, sir Even though I look like this, I know a thing or two about camping Come back later with your friends and I'll tell you everything I know, okay? All right, sir, but we actually want to come over here. Surprise, there's a chest. You found the skill ink. Now, skill ink is actually something that's super important um, throughout the Breath of Fire franchise. We will mess with that more as it becomes pertinent. Hey, kid, you better be careful around here. A couple of bullies named Dre and Tipo live around these parts. Hey, actually, I 
think those are the guys that took us in, and they don't really seem like bullies so far. I mean, we're not sure, but it doesn't seem that way. Ah, yes, this music is natural and calming, and I'm so happy to be playing this with you guys to show you guys this game, this gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing, super fun game. I love it. I'm so happy to be playing this with you. It is about my time to play it again. Like I said, I play this every couple years, and then I get the itch, and I'm like, ooh, I have to play this. Another game that I have that with is uh, Grandia. But here is the world map, another cute little feature of this game, where you can run around on the world map like this instead of just areas to go to. So I think it's amazing. I love how they did this game. This is the Ural region. Um, so just keep that in the back of your head for a month now but they did say they went over to this village which is right over here mcneil so we're gonna go check that out the village of mcneil and it's got some chill music hello we walked all the way here well what the hell was that hey that looks like our friend out of my house you punks uh-oh <laughs> you'll never catch me it's no use, Ray. Everyone's watching out for us. Ugh. Nobody's got much food. What with the poor harvest and all. Hey, Depot, look at this. <gasps> hey, you finally woke up, huh? Um, yeah, I guess we're, I'm okay. Doesn't this beat all? Now we've got another mouth to feed. What if we get him to help us, Ray? Good idea. But I think we need to get him out of his pajamas first. Come on! We'll get you fixed up with some equipment. Oh, are we gonna go buy some equipment for us real quick? That'll be great! Equipment shopping is one of my favorite things to do in RPGs. We may not have been able to steal any food, but I think we can scrounge up some armor and weapons. What? Sir, wait a minute. You just wait, Ryu! Right, I'll get you some get you set up with something in no time what are you talking about i thought we were gonna go buy some equipment huh did i just say ryu yeah you did actually is is that your name yeah wait a minute we never told you our name that's hella weird funny how did i know that maybe i dreamed it uh oh scram Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta get running. That was close, wasn't it, Ray? Sure was. But we were able to get him something to wear. Hurry up, Ryu. Don't be a slowpoke. Oh, look at us, how cute we are. And this is our armor now. This is what our regular sprite looks like. Not used to wearing armor yet, eh? Well, it's better than pajamas, I suppose. I mean, I guess. We were kind of cute in our pajamas. What do we do now, Ray? Well, everyone in town's in a bad mood over the poor harvest. I know. Let's hit the road. We can do some work there. Oh, no. Are we just gutter thieves? There's a road up ahead called the Ural Road. We go there sometimes and, well, mug people. <laughs> I love how blunt he is. He's just like, yeah, we, we kind of mug people. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not like we hurt people or anything. Just steal from them. I'm not into hurting people, you know. I have, I have some boundaries. There's some things I won't do. That's right. Even a beginner like you can do it. Come on, don't worry. Let's go. All right, I guess we'll have to, but let's check out... Um... It's a square in this game, I forget. So let's check out the main menu here. Here is this for us. We've got Ryu, Ray, and Tipo. Ryu, Ray is the only one that's not level one. He is level five, as you can see. We've got our Adams, Adams. I don't know where that accent came from. We've got our items tab here, which is, we have a vitamin and some skill ink. We can sort that out whenever we want by manual. We can do normal, we can do combat, whatever you want to do. And then through this, we'll have weapons, armor, options. They kind of split it up into different pages like that for you. So those are our items. Then we have ability. As you can see, Ryu has heal, but this will switch it kind of separated in tabs for you as well. We've got heal spells, assist spells, attack spells, skills. 
um, which we'll go over skills later. But Ryu, for right now, has heal. It doesn't seem like, uh, as attack spells, Ray has pilfer, which we can steal from an enemy. Makes a lot of sense, him being a thief. And then Tipo actually has flare as his um, only skill ability that he has right now which is an attack ability flame attack versus one target so those are just a couple things to note we can sort these things um skill notes and genes we'll deal with later um i'll talk about those as those get pertinent then we have our regular equip as we can see ryu just has a dagger and some clothing ray has a ball knife bracers leather armor tipo just has a dagger and clothing too these are pretty much pretty standard for most rpgs so if you don't know how that works i'm sorry but you should so then we've got our form we can be in normal form attack form or defense form right now in this point of the game i suggest doing attack form i actually like attack form a lot while putting ray in the front and then having ryu be the third spot now that doesn't mean we're gonna walk like that which is another thing i like about this game our attack formation and our walking formation are two separate things so that'll be cool because i'm a little bit anal about having ryu in front and having people walk in a specific order that's just how i am unfortunately there's a monster living up on mount blouse comes down and steals our cattle between that and the bad harvest we might not be able to make it through the winter oh yikes yeah it does not seem like things are going so great in the town of mcneil right now it's not not the best time hello i work and work and mcneil takes it all isn't there some way i can take it easy and still get what i want oh if only sir isn't that the dream hello madam Whew, i'm beat beat i tell ya well, yeah, it looks like you've been working hard, lady. I'm sure you are, Beach. Mmm, best music ever. The world music. So this is the farm. That's kind of where we were before. As we're walking around, you can hit start and do camp. So we might as well show that off real quick. Super important part of the game. Um, you want to come to camp often and kind of just talk to your people, see what's going on, and then obviously we'll be able to do different things as the game continues on. But hey, did you know what you can do in camp? You can rest and heal HP or make a record of your journey. If you want to know more, take a look at the book in the tent. So yeah, pretty much these books are our saving graces in this game. <laughs> when you're on the road and there's no inn around, or when you're poor, you can always camp out, right? That is true, and so here at the camp we can rest, we can save, we can change our party members, which we can do walking formation if we want, because I like to have Tipo in the middle, because I'm anal like that. Um, skills notes, master list, we'll go over that later, but let's just do a quick rest, because we're here, why not? Not that we necessarily needed it, we haven't really had a battle. <laughs> not since we were a dragon and burning everybody alive, but let's go ahead and save our progress to... Because why not? We get to see everybody's beautiful portraits some more. Yes, love it. So perfect, I guess we're gonna go mug some people at the Ural Road. Is that what we were talking about, friends? Is that our plan? Alright, we'll head on down to the Ural Road. Absolutely, so let's see what we can do here. And this is how battles happen. They happen this fast. You just all of a sudden get exclamation points above you, new, bo new bosses pop up. So that is something that I really do enjoy about this game, um, is how quick that is. Now, I will still be cutting out battles and stuff in this series, but there's not so much a big transitional screen on that. I'll have to add my own like cuts, which I'm fine with, but I'm just saying like this battle system makes things very smooth for most of the game. So I actually want to examine the boss goblin with Tipo and Ryu because, so that's kind of how skills work is you can learn skills from certain enemies if you examine them while they're doing it. So a good example of this right now is that boss goblin. He's almost always gonna use influence until he has no lackeys and then he'll escape. If we were to, uh, if we examine him, we have a chance of learning that skill while he's using it. So just keep that in your back pocket. I will be showing all the skills you can learn in this playthrough. So you guys will get access to them all. It'll be really cool. So I will give you a 100% walkthrough as far as that. Boss Goblin is our first one. You can learn influence from that boy. So we'll be trying to do that. Someday we're going to blow this place and head out to the big city like Windia. Right, Ray? Well, instead of worrying about that, let's think about getting something to eat today, okay? We should go hide and wait for someone to come by. 
Behind that tree up there looks good to me. You bunch of thieves. Alright, well, I guess we can go hide up there. They made it very clear for us. They said right here. So let's run up there and do that. Hide behind the tree, but actually first, there's a pouch right over here. We can get 40 zenny. Zenny is pretty much like the currency in this game. Oh man, we got a battle. Sometimes the battles don't work out so convenient and we're behind trees like this, but it's fine. We've got the goblins again, so we want to do the same strat here. Examine the boss goblins, see if we can get anything. You'll know if you've learned the spell because when we're examining them, either Tipo or Ryu, they would get an exclamation point above their head if they learn the spell and then it would say, you learned influence. Um, but that's not what happened here today, and that boss goblin's gonna run away. Unfortunately, we're not getting as much experience from doing it like this, but... It is what it is. <laughs> Alright, let's wait here. When someone comes by, we jump out. Yeet them. Take all their things. Like this! <laughs> These two are kind of funny. What's up, Ryu? Don't get all soft on us now. Ryu's like, what the hell? Don't worry. We're just some poor kids trying to get some food. Whoever it is will forgive us, right? Um, I don't know about that logic so much, but... Hey, here comes somebody. Um, he looks pretty big, guys. I don't know if we're necessarily going to steal from him. He's alone. Okay, Ryo, show us what you're made of. Go get him. What? We can't do anything. Just run into him like this. Oh, Lord. We just bounce right off of a bunion. What are you trying to do, little one? Mug me? Hmm? We've got enough trouble around here. Already with those rascals, Tipo and Ray. Uh, yeah, we would never hang out with them. <laughs> Listen to me. If you run into them, tell them that if I catch them, they'll be sorry. Alright, uh, we'll be sure to do that, sir. Mr. Bunyan, sir. Ugh. Whoops. Figures it would be Bunyan. Yeah, guys, I uh, could have freaking died right there, so thank you. Who does he think he is anyway? Hello, guys, we made it back. Hey, wait a minute. If old man Bunyan's out here, that means there's no one at his house, right? You're right. Let's go grab some of his food. <laughs> That'll show him. All right, so I guess we're going to run to Bunyan's house, which I'll just tell you right now. Bunyan's house is actually way all the way heckin' back here um, in the woods that we started at. So let's head on over there. Keep your eyes, friends, on this tree over here. Don't ask me why. Just, just keep your eye on it. If anything suspicious happens there... You let me know. You see this house sitting in the woods over here? That's actually Bunyan's right there. So we're going to take this entrance. It's going to be the easiest to get over there. And then hopefully we can get some more things rolling. Ooh, some more battles. Like I said, see, it just happens this quick. Gong head, that's a new enemy for us. Um, there's nothing really that we can learn from the gong head. So we might as well just freaking kill him and take everything he owns. I guess I should be using Pilfer with Ray so then we have a chance to steal some stuff. But sometimes I just can't be bothered. Three experience. Can't complain there. Ten zeddy. Cool. We're loving it. We love our lives. So actually, Bunyan's house is right over this way. This is Bunyan's. Oh, another battle. And as you can see, you can get battles anywhere. It doesn't even matter. And they just play right on the field. All right. So here's another opportunity. We're going to examine the boss goblin because we want to learn that influence spell. We're not having the best of luck yet. Sometimes it takes a hot freaking minute to learn it but just trust me it works just examine the guy who you want to do it and if they use the right skill ooh, of course ray had to get a reprisal if you get a reprisal that's pretty much like the same as a counter in this game and obviously he's gonna run away when all of his lackeys are gone so sucks to suck too bad for us it's locked. Ray might be able to pick it, so that's his introducing something else. Depending on who is your lead character, you can do different abilities. So, for example, we use Tipo and hit whatever his action button is. I'm pretty sure... Hello, am I crazy? Am 
by doing something wrong here. Yeah, there we go, circle. Tipo will kick. Well, it turns out that Raze is unlocking doors, so he picked the lock. He can pick stuff. He's a thief. Just like that, nobody's home. Keep your eyes open, Ryu. Someone might hear us if we make too much noise. Okay, let's split up and check the place out quietly. We'll have to be as quiet as possible. There's gotta be some food around here. Oh, Ray, you knocked over that plate with your tail. Ryu, shush! Sir, you literally did that. Just relax. Calm down, Ryu. Bro, your tail is the one that knocked that off. Food, food. Where's the food? Hmm, what do you think, Tipo? Watch your step, Ryu. All right, well, there's nothing in here, but look at this. There is a secret little passage back here, so we'll be taking that on. And hello? Anything here? We got some beef jerky. Oof. Wonderful. Find something? Hey, there's food here. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Uh, did you guys hear that? Old man Bunyan's come home. Ooh. That was a terrible gulp. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we might be in trouble. I'll go check it out. If something happens, I'll distract him. And you guys get away, okay? Um, that didn't sound so good. Hey, everything's okay. There's no way Ray would get... Uh, are you so sure about that, Depot? Um, I guess I'd better go and see what's happening. Don't worry. We can get out of here, right? Right. Um... Listen, that doesn't sound so great. Well, they both went up there. We don't have any other friends. The music stopped. So I guess in the next episode, guys, we're gonna we're gonna climb up these stairs and see uh we're gonna be, be able to make it out of here or is Bunyan gonna kill us? Because we were we were stealing his food, so we're kinda caught red handed. Oh well, thank you guys so much for watching my first episode of Breath of Fire 3. I appreciate all of the support. Make sure to hit that like button down below. Show me that you're excited for this series, as excited as I, as I am, because I cannot wait to show you guys this game. I'm so happy to be playing it again with you. Subscribe to the channel so you see more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next episode.